Hi, students, and welcome to today's lesson. I'm Mrs. Spike. Today, we will investigate the question, what is land made of? Are you ready? Grab your pencil and your science journal, and let's get started. I have been wondering about Circe Island. When scientists want to find out more information about the natural world, they begin by asking questions, just like we did in our last lesson. Scientists have been asking questions about Circe since the volcanic eruption that formed the island began. Scientists continue to ask questions about Circe's land today. Imagine you are one of the first scientists to arrive on Circe after the volcano's eruption. What do you see? What do you hear? Let's find out what the first scientist who arrived on Circe Island found. We will read some of this book titled Life on Circe, Iceland's Upstart Island, written by Lori Griffin Burns. From the moment its shores popped out of the sea, people were drawn to Circe. When the island was only three months old and still erupting, a team of scientists and reporters made one of the earliest landings. They arrived in a large ship, which was anchored offshore, while the team set out for Circe. Wow, I imagine that the scientists and reporters felt excited but nervous about what might happen as they approached the island. What do you think happened next? As I read, I want you to close your eyes and imagine what the scientists and reporters saw and felt as they got closer to the island. Close your eyes and listen carefully. Hardly were we ashore, one of them wrote later, when Searcher fired a barrage of warning shots. Clouds of black ash billowed against the sky and bombs rained down on the slopes of the crater. Just off our beach, falling bombs of lava and pumice caused geyser-like splashes in the sea. And now the missiles began to crash into the sand around us. Now open your eyes. Whoa, that sounds dangerous. Even three months after the island appeared, the volcano was still erupting. I imagine large pieces of lava falling onto the island and into the ocean. The people must have been very scared. Now, let's look at a recent picture of Circe. How does this picture compare with the story you heard about how Circe formed? I don't see any lava falling onto the sand or black billowing clouds of smoke, do you? But I do see some sand and some green colors. Do you think the green colors are trees? In this area, Looks like it might be a mountain or a hill. Do you agree? How can the island's parts look so different if they all started out as lava? I think it's time for an investigation. Let's investigate to answer the question, what is land made of? My friend is here to help us today. He is a geologist. A geologist is a scientist who studies land. He collected some common land samples on his adventures, and he can't wait to share them with us. We will use a magnifying glass to observe each sample. We will describe each sample's properties. We can look at the color, texture, flexibility, or hardness. We can also observe the size, shape, weight, and volume. Wow, we have so many properties we can observe. Let's get started. Look at all the samples my friend brought to share. Whoa, my friend has a lot of samples. How will we decide which one to start with? I can't decide, but I have an idea. Let's put all the samples into my friend's hat. Then we can pull the land samples out at random. 
Are you ready to get started? Whoa! Check out this sample. This land sample is called clay. I noticed that the clay is gray. It also looks like it might be a little dusty. Do you agree? Let's try another sample. This land sample looks different from the last one. This sample is called silt. What color is the silt? Did you say it's brown? Imagine you touch the silt. What do you think the silt feels like? I think it might feel soft, but I do see some tiny lumps right here. Are you ready for another land sample? Let's look a little more closely. Do you know what this land sample is? If so, shout out your answer. This sample is sand. And wow, did you know that sand is heavy? What do you notice about the sand? I see small rocky pieces. I also notice that it is white with brown and tan specks. Here we go. Let's try another. Wow, we pulled two samples this time. Let's start with this one. This land sample is gravel. Do you see all the small rocks? What color is the gravel? Did you say some small rocks are white, some are brown, and others are tan? Great work. Now for the next sample. This sample is topsoil. Does it look similar to dirt you might find at a playground? I noticed that the topsoil is black and made up of a bunch of big lumps and small pieces. You are doing great work. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready to keep going. Whoa, check out this land sample. It looks a lot different from the topsoil. This land sample is called tuff. What do you notice about the tuff? Did you say that it is an orange color? If so, you're right. Imagine you can pick the tuff up with your hand. Do you think it feels heavy? Tuff is not heavy. Two land samples left. Let's take them out together. Hmm, which one should we start with? We will observe this one first. This sample is called sandstone. Imagine you can feel the sandstone with your hand. What do you think it feels like? Whoa, sandstone feels rough. What color is the sandstone? Did you say red? If so, great work. Sandstone also looks like it is made up of tiny pieces of sand stuck together. The last land sample is granite. What do you notice about the granite? I notice that it is gray, white, and black with some sparkly spots. Do you agree? And wow, the granite also feels heavy. You did great work observing the properties of these common land samples. Some samples were bigger rocks, while some samples were made of really small pieces. We also saw that some were gray and some were brown, some were white, two were black, and some were a red or orange color. Wow, we observed so many different land samples. For now, we'll put these land samples away and say goodbye to our friend. 
Next time, we will observe properties of land samples I collected from Yosemite National Park. Let's review your task for today. Write the properties you observe for the land samples below. Make sure to include color, texture, and shape. Thanks for joining me on today's journey as we observed and described land samples. Your task for today is to complete lesson 3A in your science journal.